This is a quick video to show you how to install your embroidery font into your software. I am using Embrilliant, so that's what I'll be sharing. I'm going to go in here to Army. That's the one I have, and I have not downloaded. I bought it months ago. You go in and you um, download which one you want. I always go with BX. There's my extension there. If you wanted to just do those, you could, but if you got BX fonts, please use those. You want to double click. And here they are. Don't do them one by one. So if I wanted one by one, I would double click and it would install just that one. I'm going to actually take this and I'm on a Mac. I'm just going to highlight it by holding down my mouse and moving my cursor and I'm going to select all of them. Once I click on one of them, I'm going to double click, click, click. It's going to, uh, and I forgot I have thumb up, thumbnailer. It's not going to do it that way. I'm going to have to right click. If you have thumbnailer, get them out. You have to do it a different way. You're going to right click on one of them and you're going to say open with and then make sure you go to Embrilliance. Once you click on Embrilliance, you're going to click OK. And it's going to install all of them. It's going to give you a screen for each one of them. I'm just going to click, click, click until I have all of them there. All right, and now it's installed. I'm going to click over here under font. I just went to the right hand side. It says font. I already have got there. I'm going to click here and I believe it was named army but let me go make sure. You know, what was it called? ZAS. So I got to go down here to font. I got to go all the way down. I'm under in alphabetical order. I'm going to go down to the Z's and see here they are. There is four inch, three and a half, three, two and a half, two, one and a half, one, and then here are the small ones, half inch, and the 0.75. I'm going to click on three inch just to show you, and there it is. Hope this helps.